Four years ago, Elon announced his Tesla Cybertruck. Two years ago, I got tired of waiting and built my own electric military Humvee. Today we finally have both vehicles side by side to compare what Elon was able to accomplish with, you know, what I was able to accomplish. And as always, a scientific scoring system will help determine the winner. Mine of course is not quite finished yet, but let's be honest, neither is Elon's. Let's start off our extremely scientific scoring system with the tires. Each of these vehicles has four tires, so I think that's four points for each of us. Starting off strong, neither of us gets a plus one for a spare tire, so we're sitting at a tie. I also think we give one point for each windshield wiper, which means one point for Elon and two points for me. My Humvee is also more expensive than a Cybertruck, which makes it more premium-er, so I give myself a point for that one. The Cybertruck does have internal air conditioning, but I have organic air conditioning. And since organic is trending now, another point for me. And while the air conditioning is organic, I do not have a cab heater, since heaters are actually really difficult to install and suck a lot of power. I also do not have a heater for my battery pack, which the Cybertruck does have, so two points for Elon. Elon's Cybertruck gets about 318 miles of range on off-road tires. I haven't officially tested mine, but I think it's around 100, so we'll just give Elon the point for now. This is gonna be a close competition. Another point the Cybertruck wins is with the external power in the back, a 240 volt plug along with two 110 volt outlets. And in order to test that out, I brought some cookies and a full-size oven. I'm not putting on an apron. And cookies are great, but if you want a healthier meal made in seconds, might I introduce my channel sponsor, Huel, and their nutritionally complete Huel Black Edition Cookies and Cream Shake. I've lost and kept off about 15 pounds in the last year, all thanks to counting calories and paying attention to what I eat. With each scoop of Huel Black being exactly 200 calories, it's been super easy to keep track of what I'm consuming in a day. Huel Black has 27 essential vitamins and minerals, 40 grams of plant-based protein, and no artificial sweeteners. I mean, look at the ingredients. All you have to do is add water. It's been super convenient and filling, and I've been enjoying it for years. Yeah, it tastes healthy, but that's kind of the point. I usually have two scoops of cookies and cream for lunch. It fills me up, and I'm legitimately a fan. Plus, with your first order, you'll get a free t-shirt and a guide to get started. Yule has helped me eat healthier, and hopefully they can do the same for you. I'll leave a link down in the description. The Cybertruck can tow 11,000 pounds, and I, too, in my EV Humvee, can tow 11,000 pounds. Just not really safely. What was that, Zach? I'm just, just not very safely. I'm, just, I probably for like five minutes, short periods of time before something breaks. Honestly, I'm probably closer to five thousand pounds towing capacity. I'll give Elon this point. Nice. <laughs> the Cybertruck has one large display in the middle, and the EV Humvee also has a display pretty close to the middle, so we both get one point. Elon has 10,000 pound-feet of torque on the Cyberbeast, but I have 12,000 pound-feet of torque once I gear down into four low on my Atlas transfer case. One point for me. Elon has ABS brakes, which is a nice safety feature to have. I also have brakes stolen from a Tesla Model S, but just the compression part and not the wheel slipping intelligence part. So one point for Elon. Elon can charge at 350 kilowatts through a version 4 supercharger, while I can charge at 8 kilowatts from the plug in my garage. Another point for Elon. Elon's battery pack is about 800 volts, while mine is 450-ish. Elon has a front trunk, which I don't have, but since there's no safety sensors and it can munch your fingers, I'm actually going to subtract a point for that. Both have enclosed truck beds, which means we both get a point. One thing that I was not expecting Elon to do was come up with a 48 volt low voltage system. I didn't know we were competing on that, but now I know for next time. No one can really tell what a 48 volt system does from the outside, but from the inside, it's actually pretty cool. Underneath the passenger seat is where I keep my 12 volt low voltage system. I came up with this system to distribute power to the headlights, the steering wheel, the display, and in order to get power from the high voltage pack into the 12 volt battery, I have this giant two gauge cable. I use that two gauge cable to pull energy from my DC to DC converter. The DC to DC converter is this guy right here. 
It's 1500 watts, which means if we're bringing it down to a 12 volt system, it needs to be holding 125 amps, which is why the cable itself is so thick. Now, if I had built a 48 volt system instead of a 12 volt system, which would have been impossible since there's no off the shelf 48 volt components, but let's just say I did, I could have used a much thinner 10 gauge wire. 1500 watts divided by 48 volts equals a peak power draw of 30 amps. And the less amperage we have, the thinner wire we can get away with. Thinner wire is cheaper, lighter, easier to work with, and easier to install, so Elon gets a point for this one. We both have four wheel drive. Yeah, the Cybertruck can individually and intelligently control the slip of each tire, but technically they're both still four wheel drive, so we each get a point. The body panels of the Cybertruck are stainless steel, and they are technically bulletproof. My aluminum panels are not, so plus one for Elon. And maybe I'm alone in this, but anytime I get out of a truck, I always grab the top lip right here, but stainless steel is just not that cozy. If I reach up to get out of my Humvee, turns out there's a bare metal lip there as well. Nobody gets a point. One thing I will take a point for, however, is down here, Elon has stuck a plastic kick plate right here with uh, imitation welded beads. It would have not been hard to have a robot lay down some dimes and make that out of stainless steel instead. Just saying. I take the point because my kick plate is pure metal. No plastic here. The Cybertruck has rear wheel steering for a tighter turn radius, which is a huge deal. The Humvee is the size of a boat and has the turning radius of a football field. The vehicles are almost the same size, but the Cybertruck is quite a bit more nimble. The Cybertruck has three rear seats. I have no rear seats since I filled them all up with Tesla battery modules, so three more points for Elon there. When it comes to ground clearance, you might think I would win with 16 inches of differential free ground clearance, but the Tesla Cybertruck actually can extract to 17.5, so Elon gets one more. What Elon has not factored in though is that my EV Humvee has 10 shackle mounts where it can be carried from a helicopter or tossed out of an airplane, and those are pretty cool. And I think that right there is where we stop the count. The Tesla Cybertruck is an incredible piece of engineering, but true beauty lies in the eyes of the beholder. Good game, Elon. Thanks a ton for watching, and I'll see you around.